Off the station with nothing to show for it. Maybe we can get them back on our side. We know they can fight Cat. Our supplier's waiting. Come on, we're gonna be late. Do I even want to know? Nope. I'm Rallis. Wow. You really showed up. You seem thrilled. Honestly, it's nothing special. Nothing special? You saved the Moshai from the Ket. And not just the Moshai. So many people owe you their lives. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation Facility sent the Ket scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased Ket movement through certain areas of Vold. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. Doesn't matter if they're science Ket, warrior Ket, janitorial Ket. They're all bad news. Some of us were concerned they might be planning more exultation. Or putting more of our people through torturous study. We don't have the tech to break into their bases. But someone has to stop them. I'll investigate this if I can. That's all I can ask. Thank you, Ryder. I'll send the nav point immediately. Remove? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Elodin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, get Callow the nav points for both Elodin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned. As you were. encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours! So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. We'll need more than your assurances. Who's behind this? Why target settlers? Ugh, does it matter? Are you gonna not save them if you don't like why they're in trouble? Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I wanna help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. The ships are tethered. What can we do? I'm working on it. Sam, connect me to the Moshai. On screen. Ryder, it's good to see you again. We've located the Archon's ship. It's more complicated than we thought, so I wanted to make sure we knew what we were looking for. It was a large remnant relic depicting Meridian. It's in his private chamber. His sanctum, he called it. He's very proud of that relic. That's what we needed. I appreciate it. And I appreciate what you're doing for all of us. But be careful. I've seen the Archon's cruelty. I hope you don't. That makes two of us. Thank you for your help, Moshai. Of course. I wish you well.
Okay, we play this right, not only do we get away with the relic, we save the Solarians. I say we get onto the Ark, assess the situation, then sneak onto the catch ship through the tether. A feasible approach. Currently, Ark Pachero is on standby. Only its stasis facilities are online. What about the Solarians? Unknown. You heard the Moshai. Who knows what the Archon's capable of? If he's done anything to those Solarians, he'll find out what we can do. Ryder? Whatever you need. Those are my people. We'll get them back. Now let's make this one count. Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm... I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's going on in here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. I can see how that help. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts? Hmm. Do Turians like poetry? Uh, for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, uh, I, I'm not sure yet. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothgin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or... I don't feel like I am. I think most people feel like that. I want to fit in. I want to make a difference. And most people probably think the same thing. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. You're one of us now, Joel. <laughs>